Happy to be joined now by Jeff Brom himself, head coach of the Purdue Boilermakers. Coach, how is it going for you so far up in West Lafayette? You know what, it's going great. Uh, it's getting closer to the season, which is what we're all uh, getting ready for. But uh, a lot of challenges ahead, but our guys have worked hard. I think they got a great attitude. They understand the importance of uh, each and every game and uh, definitely starts with game one. But I like the attitude and the work that we've displayed to this point. What's been the biggest transition for you? Well, I think uh, it's a new group of young men that you got to get a, a chance to know, and, and uh, that's very important. We've got a, a new crew of freshmen here this summer. We've added some graduate transfers that are here now on campus as well, some junior college transfers that are on campus. We've got to make sure we get to know them as much as we possible, see what they can and can't do, and, and get ready for fall camp. I think it's about uh, improving our football team, making sure our guys compete, work hard, play to win, uh, but definitely identify who the playmakers are and make sure we get them the ball. Purdue has this history of being a smash mouth football team, but I know your style is get up and down the field as quick as possible. Has that been a challenge to sort of get the players to, hey, this is how it's going to be? Well, we definitely uh, have a style that we like to play, and we're going to try to do that. But at the same time, uh, the personnel is a little different here, so we're going to have to make sure we adjust to that a little bit. Uh, maybe do it a different way than we're used to, but uh, it's all about making it fun and exciting uh, to not only watch, but to also play in, and hopefully we can get that done, and uh, I think our players uh, uh, will enjoy playing in that type of offense. You guys are opening up the season against the Louisville Cardinals, your alma mater. What will that be like to coach against the school you played for? Well, it's a tough matchup for us. Uh, they're an elite team. Uh, they've had a lot of success lately. Their quarterback is the Heisman Trophy winner is going to be hard to stop, hard to tackle when the ball's in his hand. It's, he's a threat to score at any time. But it, it's a great challenge. And I know our players, uh, while many uh, people are not giving us a chance, they're, they're working extremely hard this summer knowing that the first opponent is very, very difficult uh, and that we've got to go above and beyond each and every day to try to improve and get ourselves ready. But, you know, Fox uh, Sports primetime, you know, Saturday night, Lucas Oil Stadium, I think it's a chance to showcase what the new Purdue football team is about. You mentioned Lamar Jackson. I know people down here know Lamar Jackson extremely well. From a coach's standpoint, what makes him so difficult to stop? Well, he is the best player in the country. He's got uh, elements to his game that uh, really you can't teach. He's just a natural athlete. He's gifted. He's quick. He can run. He can make guys miss. He can elude defenders. Uh, when the ball's in his hand, like I said, he's a threat to go the distance. And uh, those guys are hard to stop, and there's not many of them out there. Uh, and the fact that he's a quarterback doing it makes it even tougher, you know. Um, you know, our defense is going to have to go above and beyond to find a way to contain him to a certain degree. Uh, hopefully, we'd like someone else to carry it more than he does, but uh, he's just a special talent. He deserves all the credit he gets. He's a hard worker, everything. Uh, being from Louisville, I know uh, he does everything the right way, and he deserves all of it, but uh, it'll be fun to play against him. I know, too, Western Kentucky will miss you, too. They have a good coach in Mike Sanford coming in. But the legacy you left, you left behind there is pretty massive. What are you expecting from the Hilltoppers in 2017? Well, I think they'll carry on and do a great job. I, I felt great about the team that we had last year. I felt great about the talent, the young talent we had that uh, I felt could at least be good for the next couple of years because we had good young players, some guys playing, some guys that haven't played yet that are just getting their chance to emerge. So, you know what? Uh, They've proven they can win the last two years, winning two championships in a row. I think they have a great quarterback coming back. They've got uh, uh, a bunch of very good players that have experience. I see them being up at the top for sure uh, for many years to come. You guys have a pretty good quarterback this year, too, getting on some watch lists. Well, David Blau was a starter last year, and he's done a very good job up to this point. Uh, you know, we've got to make sure we increase the talent around them and make sure that we don't ask them to do too much. We've also Try to increase the competition in his position. You know, we have a backup quarterback in Elijah Sindelar from Kentucky that's had a great spring. He's worked extremely hard. He's going to battle for the spot. We want to make sure that whoever's in there is doing uh, their job, is leading the team, getting us uh, in the end zone for touchdowns. If, and if not, we'll, we'll maybe play both. But uh, David uh, is the exact exactly what you're looking for as, as far as work ethic, his desire to be great. He's a great teammate, uh, and we're excited to see uh, how they play this year. A lot of Boiler fans excited to see what this team can do this year with Jeff Brom at the helm.